Welcome to The Waggle. My name's Mark Crossfield. It's US Open time, second major of the year. Let's see what Chambers Bay might just throw at us. So US Open, Chambers Bay, first time I've ever seen this kind of style of golf course used for a US Open. Looks more like the Open than the US Open. It's got some little tricks up its sleeve, Chambers Bay, hasn't it? The first one is the yardage. This is a Lynx course on steroids. This thing is beefcake. We have 540 yard par fours. Yes, you heard me, par fours. Calm down. It's gonna challenge the whole field this course, but what the winner's gonna to need to show is a great long game off the tee and into greens. And they're gonna to have to show a really good level of imagination around the greens. That real tight, short game is gonna be key for conquering Chambers Bay. Who's got that at the moment? Lots of reports on what a tough walk Chambers Bay is for the spectators and the players. Lots of elevation changes, uh, walking up and down dunes, it is a tough walk. But one thing I do know, it's never a tough walk when you're leading in these events. It's always a tough walk, even if you're playing the most flattest golf course in the world, when you're struggling in front of the world's media. The US Open has always had a reputation for tricked up golf courses. I think Chambers Bay has one of the best tricks I've ever seen on a golf course. It has holes that can change par. Yes, change par, you heard me. You've got par fours that will be par fives. They'll be switching from day to day. That's one hell of a trick. You can just see it, can't you? What'd you have there, Ricky? I had a par. I thought you had a five. Yeah, I did. I had a, a five. Yeah, a par. No, no, that's a par four today, mate. Changing par? So who's going to win at Chambers Bay? Always hard to pick a winner of a major. So much great talent out there playing. It will play into the hands of the people who've got good distance and are not afraid to use the whole width of the fairways. And one thing's for sure, the winner's going to have to show a fantastic element of short game skills. Imagination, creativity, real control around the greens. Out of all the golfers playing, I just can't think of one who fits that kind of criteria. There can't, there isn't any, is there? Watch the videos, always watch videos, follow me wherever I go. Love you, Golf Digest. Click the links, the links are down there usually. Oh, way! I love Golf Digest. Can't believe they're letting me have free run on this show. Oops.